Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carolina. If you're new, thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I am going to be doing this eyeshadow look right here. Very simple look, but it's so, so pretty. And I am actually using the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. This is actually the palette right here. It's so, so pretty. I actually got this a while ago in an Ulta haul. I'm super late on using this palette just because I've had a ton of other makeup to use and I just kind of kept this to the side and I was like okay I'm gonna use it in my next video I'm gonna use it in my next video but it just never got around to using this palette I know this is not a new palette or anything I know there's like a ton of looks and a ton of tutorials already on YouTube using this palette but this is new to me so I still wanted to film a look using this palette if you guys want to see how I achieved this look right here using the Dominique Cosmetics Latte palette just keep watching Okay guys, so let's just go ahead and get started. I've already done my eyebrows. If you guys don't know, Dominique is actually a YouTuber here on YouTube and she came out with her own brand and I believe now she has another palette other than this one. The colors in this palette appeal to me a little bit more than her other palette. That's why I purchased this one. In this video, I'm also going to be trying out some new eye brushes. So I have three of the Alamar Cosmetics brush set. So these all come in a little like trio. You get a blending brush, you get a all over like shader brush or like a lid brush for like shimmer. And then you get this brush right here, which is like a flat definer brush. These look like really nice quality and I like the packaging. First going to take this brush. This is just an all over crease brush. I'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here which is called Vanilla Cream and I'm just going to put this all over my lid just to set the primer. These brushes feel super soft. Like really really soft. It did get a little bit of fallout from this shade, but it wasn't too bad, and this brush feels super soft. I really like that shade for all over my lid. I think it's, like, perfect for that. Now I'm going to go in with a lighter transition shade so we can start building up this crease up here. I'm going to first take Caramel, which is this really pretty light brown shade. I'm taking the same brush, and I'm just going to start slowly building this up on my crease. Okay, that's pretty pigmented. For being a light shade, that's pretty pigmented. Because this is a lighter shade than the rest. The other browns are darker. I'm bringing this all the way into the inner corner and just doing circular motions so it can be nice and blended. There's like fall off from this shade as well, but it's not too bad and it's not super, super powdery like other eyeshadows that I've tried. I'm gonna go ahead and take that color called Pumpkin Spice with the same brush. I'm not using any other brush. I'm just gonna blend this out to make it a little bit warmer. I don't know if you guys can see already the difference between these and that. So I'm just again gonna blend this out. All the way into the inner corner and just blend blend making sure everything is nice and blended these eyeshadows that they're actually blending out really nicely with the same brush I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of a deeper brown shade to the outer corners I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade called mocha so right here Kinda gonna like stamp this, whatever was on the brush, and just blend it out like that. And I'm not gonna go all the way into the inner corner because I just want this on the outer corner right here. Just like this. And then I'm gonna blend this out. Since I only have like one more matte shade to try, I'm just going to go ahead and use it just to blend everything out. So I'm going to use the shade Hazelnut. So I'm going to go ahead and take this little brush right here. It's just 
for all over the lips. What I'm going to do first is take creme brulee and then I'm going to take macchiato on my lid. Before I put those shapes on, I'm actually going to do a little bit of a cut crease. I have some of my Shape Tape concealer on the back of my hand and I'm just going to take the same brush. This might be my new favorite brush to do a cut crease. I'm going to go ahead and go into creme brulee. I'm just going to take the same brush and just keep packing on this shade. Okay, this is what this shade looks like and it's so, so pretty. I'm actually going to add macchiato on the top and I'm going to spray my brush with a little bit of this little setting spray. Just to make that shade a little bit more intense. And I'm just going to place this on top. Okay, yeah. That makes it look so much, so much nicer. I'm going to add a little bit more of Mocha and just place it again right here. So this can be a little bit darker and then everything can just blend in really nicely. And I'm going to blend the outer part out. Just like this. Just going back and forth basically on the outer corner. Okay guys, so this is what the eyes look like so far. I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off, add on some black eyeliner and put on the lashes. And then I'll come back to finish up the lower lash line right here. So I will be right back. Let's go ahead and finish up the lower lash line. So I'm going to go back into the palette right here. I'm going to use some of these matte shades up here. I'm going to use the Alamar Cosmetics brush. This is the last one from the little kit that I got. I'm going to take a little bit of pumpkin spice and also add that to my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take this little pencil brush. This is the Morphe E36. I'm going to go ahead and dip into hazelnut. I'm going to take a little bit of mocha back with the Alamar Cosmetics brush. And I'm just going to stamp this right here. And then back with the E36 Morphe brush. I'm just going to blend all of this out. Okay guys, so this is going to go ahead and be the final look using the Latte palette by Dominique Cosmetics. I am loving this little palette right here. I'm so sad that I did not use it sooner because I feel like I would have been using this like all the time. Especially because it has the perfect matte transition shades at the top. And then you get a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of pop of color. The eyeshadows are a pretty good size pan, so that's also a plus. I really like how this look turned out, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to see another look using this palette. I can definitely do uh, another look using these colorful shades right here if you want to see that. Please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Also, don't forget that I do have a giveaway going on on my channel. I will leave a link to the giveaway video down in the description box below. So make sure that you check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.